That is a very complicated question. Acne is a multifactorial disease. Um, <clears throat> we do know that it tends to cluster in families, so there could be a genetic component there. Um, we know the mechanism of the cause of a lesion, an acne lesion or a comedone. Um, we don't know why that happens necessarily, but um, we know that there are three basic things that go on that are causing acne. Number one is there's a dysregulation of the shedding of the epithelium in the hair follicle. So that's number one. Um, the skin's not shedding off properly, okay? That's number one. Number two, um, sebum production, which is accelerated by um, and stimulated often by hormones, right? You get an upregulation of, of sebum and then you get this dysregulation of shedding of the of the epithelium, so you kind of get this cement, okay, that creates a plug, which is the initial lesion of acne or a comedone. And then on top of that, there's P. acne's bacteria, which loves oil, comes in, feeds on the oil, and creates inflammatory mediators in the area. So that would be the basic mechanism of acne. I would not say that stress causes acne. Stress is a, a very amorphous thing in, in medicine. We don't know exactly how stress works in contributing to disease states. Certainly it doesn't cause acne, but it can make the disease worse if you have it already. Um, there have been no proven studies stating that you eat this food, you will get acne. Um, right, so for some people, they will notice that if they eat chocolate or ice cream, um, they will get acne. But um, really, I'm not a huge advocate of changing a diet um, to prevent acne. I just think it's too difficult to completely eliminate things from the diet, and um, you could be causing nutritional deficits. So um, the two closest associations, though, would be foods with high glycemic index. So sugary foods and, and dairy. So those, thing, those groups both have associations, but causality has never been proven. Yes, that can actually cause acne scars for sure. Um, so if you damage the tissue um, to the level of the dermis, you can cause a scar. So if you're playing with something and picking enough, you can definitely cause something that will stay forever. Accutane works beautifully. Accutane is one of my very favorite medications. I took Accutane myself. I have several family members who took Accutane. Um, it is a safe drug. Many of the side effects that it has been um, that have been attributed to Accutane have been proven to be untrue. So I do find that Accutane A works beautifully and B is incredibly safe. So the cornerstone of acne treatment is a retinoid, some kind of, kind of vitamin A analog, like Retin-A, Tazerac, Differin, something like that. That is the gold standard number one treatment for acne. Um, I don't usually use monotherapy, meaning I wouldn't just use that drug. I also add maybe an antibiotic or something that helps fight the hormones that are causing acne. Um, there, there, there's a vast, vast um, armamentarium of acne medications. Um, and basically my approach is to find the best combination for each person. Everyone's different, everyone's goals are different. Um, so basically I'm looking at how severe is the acne? How much does it really bother this person? And um, what level of aggressiveness with regards to treatment are they comfortable with? So I would say almost every single acne patient would, will benefit from the combination of my um, prescription medications and um, medical grade acne care from an esthetician. Um, one of the main acid peels that we use, salicylic acid, um, can be delivered right here in the office. Um, we can use a higher strength of acid than you can use over the counter or at a spa. Um, and the quality of the product is slightly different. Um, salicylic acid is known to target oil glands. 
which is, as we discussed, one of the problems in uh, acne. So we certainly partner with the, the esthetician and they help us to speed up the process much more quickly.